Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, y'all. Let's give God some praise in this house. We come to worship Him. We come to worship Him in spirit and in truth. We come to worship Him in spirit and in truth. Glory to God. Glory to God for the great and wonderful and marvelous things He has done. Glory. We bring greetings from Cherry Hill United Methodist Church, minutes from downtown Baltimore. We give God praise for those that are tuning in with us on Facebook, and Instagram, and YouTube. Amen. We give God praise for you. Amen. As we continue to give God honor, give Him praise and glory. Glory to God. I want to say first of all, Happy Father's Day. Glory to all of the men. Amen. Biological fathers and those who have been raising and bringing up children, amen, as their own biological child, amen. We give God honor and praise for you this morning, wherever you may be at this moment in time, amen. We give God praise for you as we come to celebrate on this end the season, the season of Pentecost, the season of the power of the Holy Spirit, amen, as we offer our praises unto uh, the Lord this morning. We just want to a few announcements, amen, uh, as we prepare to move into this powerful worship experience um, this morning. We just want to just remind those that uh, the knowing the power of prayer, amen, our prayer line ministry, amen, is going every Wednesday at 6.30 a.m., amen, on the prayer line, all of the information phone numbers and how to connect with our prayer line ministry is on our Facebook page, amen. Uh, we're changing lives, we're healing and it's taking place, amen, on our prayer line ministry. So if you're not a part of any prayer line ministry and you understand what power of prayer can do, we invite you to be a part every six, every Wednesday at 6.30 a.m. Uh, we are before the Lord, amen, in prayer and supplication, amen. Also, our discipleship Bible study, we will be in conclusion of a nine-week lesson that we've been teaching uh, on, uh, on our Bible study, which is every Tuesday and Thursday. Our final Bible study for the summer will uh, conclude on this coming uh, Tuesday. Amen. At 11 a.m. on our Thursday Bible study. Those that are on our Thursday Bible study, you're welcome to uh, uh, meet with us for the final lesson on this coming Tuesday. Amen. So we invite you to our Bible study this coming Tuesday at 11 a.m. for our completion. And then we'll take our summer break. Amen. As the Lord shall guide us. Also, I want to share with those that are online with us, many you know that we have a strong food ministry here, and we, we are on our food ministry uh, every two weeks throughout the summer, amen. Every, every other Friday, uh, we will be serving vegetables and uh, produce and, and all of the good things that are good for us, amen. You know, many times we eat stuff that's not good for us, um, but it may be good to us, but it's not good for us. So every, every other Friday, we're going to be giving away. Somebody said giving away. We're going to be giving away fruit, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables that's coming directly off the farm. Amen. So uh, we encourage you to be a part of that and continue to eat to live. Amen. So be a part of that. We start at 9 a.m. until all of it is gone. Amen. So come on and be a part of what the Lord is doing in our food ministry. Also, as a reminder, our Angel of Faith uh, ministry, which is our children's choir, uh, they rehearse every first and third Sunday. Amen.
been uh, uh, after our morning service. So those uh, children that are feeling fulfilled as though they led and they want to be a part of our children's choir, we invite you to come on and be a part of what the Lord is doing. The Lord is working through our children, in our children, and all around our children. Amen. So bring your child if your child has a, a, a they want to participate and be a part of our Angels of Faith ministry, we invite you to be a part of that. Also some things that you can mark on your calendar, our media ministry uh, is having a lip sync concert, cowboy concert. Amen. Amen. Somebody said, what is that cowboy concert? We're going to have a good time in the Lord. Amen. We're going to have a lip sync con um, concert. It's on July the 20th. Amen. Tickets are just $10. Amen. Be a part of what the Lord is doing. And come on out and, and sing to your heart desires. Amen. So we just ask you to come on out. We'll have a good time July the 20th. Amen. Also, the media ministry is hosting a fun-filled day at Hershey Park. Amen. And that is going to be August the 3rd. 2024. Amen. You can reserve your seats on the bus. Uh, you can see anyone that's a part of the media ministry. Now, the, this is what the deal is. It's a $25 deposit. Amen. $25 deposit, which will hold your seats. The seats are going to be going quickly. Okay, so the $25 will hold your seat. See anyone on the media ministry and give them your deposit uh, for $25 that would hold it and the cutoff is June the 30th, amen. So that's quickly, uh, get that if, get that to our media ministry because we're gonna have a fun-filled time at Hershey Park on August the 3rd. Any questions, uh, just see any of the media ministry, amen. Hold up your hands, media ministry, so they see who you are. Any questions about our trip, we're gonna have a fun-filled time and getting together and have a good time at Hershey Park on August the 3rd, amen. Also, we're gonna be doing, the, the media ministry is also gonna be, uh, many of you remember the, the car wash, amen. Amen, we have, we're gonna have another car wash starting uh, in uh, July the 6th, amen, at July the 6th until, um, okay, so we'll start at 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Every every um, Saturday leading up to um, and up, up to the trip, Amen. So uh, see any me members about the car wash. I know the last time we had a car wash, it was well attended, Amen. For ten dollars, it was well attended. So bring your cars, and we're gonna be doing that every every um, uh, Saturday, Amen. Starting July the sixth, Amen. For the car wash. Also, they're gonna be refreshments. Also for sale as well. Now, starting um, the 30th, June the 30th, every every Sunday, every Sunday after service, uh, our media ministry that will every Sunday uh, our media ministry will have food and uh, as refreshments that can be purchased after our morning service, starting on June the 30th. Amen. Amen. Also. Uh, on June the 21st, uh, our ushers, amen, the ushers, the ushers will be uh, kicking off Joy Night, amen. That is going to be a time, amen, on jo Joy Night on June the 21st at 7 p.m. Uh, we're going to be rendering music, amen. Many of you are familiar with our Joy Night. The Joy Night has always been a success where we, we minister through music, uh, and that will be June the 21st. Uh, Friday, June the 21st at 7 p.m. You can see any of the ushers if you have questions about it, and that will be leading up to our ushers' anniversary, which is June the 23rd at uh, 11 a.m. June 23rd, we will have um, our ushers will be celebrating their 79th. Let's give the ushers some praise. Amen. It's a 79 years. 79 years of ushering the men. Um, we're going to have a number of churches that's going to be coming out, helping us celebrate. We're going to have two services that morning. Um, I'll be preaching the 11 o'clock service, 
and our uh, anniversary is at 2 um, p.m. See any of the ushers for any information pertaining to that. Also, they're going to be <clears throat> they're going to be a powerful, powerful preacher that will be in the house. Her name is our Pastor Clarinda White. She's from the Miracle Church of Baltimore. Amen. She can preach and will preach. She will be our guest preacher on that 2 p.m. service, amen, at our church. So come on out, tell your neighbors, tell everybody that you know that seven, um, Ushers is celebrating their 79th Ushers anniversary, amen. And we're looking for a blessed time in the Lord. We look, we're looking to be the host, amen. We're looking to have a time in the Lord. And one thing that I want to share, amen, with each one, we're going to be inviting a lot of different churches coming. And one thing it is, you don't invite anybody to your house if you're not going to be home. Glory to God. If you're not going to be home, you don't invite people to your house. So come, what I'm saying, somebody say, what you saying, Pastor? I'm saying, we're going to be in the house and we're going to be host and we're going to have a blessed time in the Lord. Amen. For our ushers anniversary. Glory to God. May the Lord continue uh, to bless you and may the Spirit of God continue to bless you. Uh, real good. Amen. Amen. How many know the power of prayer? How many know that prayer changes things? And prayer not only changes things, but prayer changes us. Amen. As we uh, let our hearts be blessed, our minds, our spirits, as the Lord shall guide us in the word of prayer. Brother Bernard will come and he will take us to the throne of grace. Amen. Good morning, God, Holy Spirit, church, pastor, friends. Good morning, everyone. Happy Father's Day. Let us pray. Dear God, we are standing here in the need of prayer. Thanking you, first of all, for waking us up this morning. Leaving us in our right mind our strength to our bodies. For some of us, we might move a little slower, but we thank God that we can walk. It may take us a little bit longer to think things out, but we still have our mind. We have to give you the praise and thanks for that, dear Father God. Yes, yes, Lord. Heavenly Father, this day, we recognize Father's Day, and we thank those fathers who have raised their children, and continue to raise their children. We thank for the fathers who have gone on beyond, for they have come here and left a legacy for us to follow. We thank the uncles, the grandfathers, and the neighbors who acted in the, the role of fathers. And we thank some mothers and aunts and grandmas who acted in the role of fathers. But there is a father that we serve not just on today, but every day. And that is you, our heavenly, wonderful, magnificent Father. For you have poured upon us so many blessings. I have no complaints. I've been here for 64 years. And I'm thankful for all those years, dear Father. I have many loved ones that are not here anymore. I have uncles. I have grandfathers who were here, dear Father God, so many. I have a father-in-law that I was in the presence of just a year ago. He has gone on to glory with you. But I thank you for the time that I had with him. And I thank you, Lord, for the wisdom that he put upon me. I thank you for the continued wisdom that my dad constantly gives me. I thank you for all the fathers, dear Father God, who not only are raising their children, but they are actually helping to raise other children here in the church. So we thank you, dear Father God. We thank you for blessing this community. We thank you for blessing the state of Maryland and blessing beyond. And even though we're in the midst of darkness, but you still, dear Father God, the ruler. And if we put our hands and our trust in you, dear Father God, you will lead us and you will guide us. But we have to trust you. And we have to believe in you. And before I close, dear Father God, I want to thank the women of this church 
who took time to get up five o'clock this morning and to feed these us our men. We thank them, dear Father God, because they could have just stayed laid in their beds in the comfort of their home. So I thank them so much for coming out here and recognizing us on this day. And now as we look forward, dear Father God, bless the ministry today, bless the musicians, bless the ushers, bless the finance committee, bless those that are reading the word, bless the pastor who's going to deliver the word. In Jesus' holy and magnificent name. And I thank you, dear Father God. I thank you for having us here in your presence. That you count it not wrong for all of us to be here. And let us also pray for the sick, those that are in jail. Pray for those who are going through bereavement right now, Father God. Let them know that you're there by their bedside and wherever they go. In Jesus' holy name, I say amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory, glory to God. Oh, the wonder of prayer. Amen. And what prayer can do and will do. Glory to God. I want to just say thank you, Lord, for the visitors that the visitors that was here uh, today. Amen. We greet you again with Jesus' joy for coming and worshiping with us uh, on this day. Glory to God. Amen. We're going to have a hymn a prayer. Amen. We're going to have a hymn of prayer. A divine choir. Amen. Come or minister to us in song. Amen. As we prepare our hearts today. Amen. For some worship. How many come to worship him this morning? Glory to God. We come to worship the Lord. We come to worship him in spirit and in truth. Glory, glory to God. Yeah, we want to thank our women of faith ministry again, amen, for blessing us and those that came from our communities today with a, a hearty filled breakfast, amen. I see some people are walking still a little slow this morning, amen, as they come up. I don't know whether it was the breakfast or what. Glory to God. Okay. And then after our fine choir will minister to us, then we'll have the reading of God's word. We'll have the reading of God's word. Our scripture will be coming from the Old Testament, Psalm 20, and the New Testament, Ephesians, the sixth chapter, verses one through three. Amen. Following our combined choir, glory to God.
Glory to God. The Lord is in this holy place. As the Lord is still reigning and ruling in this place. Let us prepare our hearts. Our ushers are prepared to come. And we are prepared to give unto the Lord. It's giving time. Amen. Amen. As you come, for those that are with us, those that are worshiping with us online, there's a way in which you can sow a seed, amen, in this ministry. For those who give online, amen, if you cash app, amen, there's a way in which you can give with cash app. That's dollar sign, Cherry Hill, UMC. That's dollar sign in your cap. Open up your cash app, dollar sign, Cherry Hill, UMC, for those that give online. For those who give online, want to send money on his checks, send it to Cherry Hill, UMC, post office box 198. I'm going to slow it down so you can make sure you get it, write it. I'm going to slow it down real slow. P.O. Box 19811. Amen. As the Lord opens up your heart to sow into his ministry. Glory to God. Let us pray. Our Father and strong God, we thank you this day, O oh God. We thank you because you reminded us that you love a cheerful giver. God, we ask that you bless these gifts that will go out to the building and the uplift of your kingdom here on earth. Lord, we ask that you bless the gift and the giver. And we'll be ever so mindful to give your name the honor, the praise, and the glory from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the people of God say amen. amen. You are in the direction of our ushers. Amen. As you come and give unto the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Standing in the back and come and bring your gifts. Your tithes unto the Lord. Glory, glory to God.
ministry of his spirit in this place today. Glory to God. I feel a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. And I know it's because of the presence of the Lord. Glory, glory. Glory to God. We got another selection, amen, from our combined choir. Glory to God. And after we hear the song, amen, from our choir, there is a word. How many come for a word? How many come for a word this, this day? Glory to God. I don't know what you've been through this week, amen. But somebody said that if I could just get in the house, if I could just get in his presence, glory, there's going to be a word from the Lord.
said to Brian, go get the mic. And in my mind, I was saying, no, don't get this mic, because my left leg was numb. I couldn't stay on it momentarily. But thank you, Brian and Lorraine, for letting God into me. Because as I was singing the song, the feeling started coming back. Glory 
pray to God, the next voice that you will be that will be rendered to you is from Brother Troy, the man of God. Thank you, Pastor, for the warm words. First of all, I'd like to say happy Father's Day to those fathers out there. And some of you mothers too, a mother fathers, because y'all have brought your child up in a single parent home. And that's a tough task, all the way. But before we get into this, let's pray. Our Father God, I come to you today, Lord, humbly, Lord. I ask you, hide me behind thee, Lord. Lord, let me decrease and let you increase, Father God. For God to God, I will give you all the glory, honor, and praises that your name deserves. And your son named Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And first of all, I want to thank Pastor Foss and First Lady Linda for entrusting me to deliver this sermon to the congregation. I tell you, it ain't easy, y'all. I just don't know. My stomach tired, my mouth is dry. It's time, I tell you, it ain't no easier. It gets no easier. It gets no easier each time. But with God, there is no fairy. That's what I can tell you. I know that. So as it's been read earlier in the scripture, this is based on what I'm going to read from Ephesians 6, 1 through 4. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is, for this is the first commandment with promise, so that it may be with you and you may live long on this earth. And fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in discipline and instructions of the Lord. So this is the text where I will be preaching from. I'm nervous, just forgive me. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. It ain't easy. It, it never gets easy, but... It's but just knowing you have God on your side makes it all better. That's right. Truly does. Okay. Well, today is Father Day, and it is right that we should stop and honor our Father. It is important that we take time to speak on the significance of fatherhood, because the role of the fathers are being downplayed by society, because the fathers are not seen in the same light as mothers, and we all know that. For example, even the gifts that we get on Father's Day, the same gifts over and over. Gifts like that coffee mug, the pajamas, and that world greatest dad t-shirt. And last but not least, the dreaded necktie. <laughs> But it's not that we don't appreciate it, we deserve so much more. Because fathers are the foundation of the family. And their primary role are to nurture, protect, and provide for his family. Amen. Corinthians 1, 1 Corinthians 16, 13, 14. Men, be watchful, stand firm in faith, act like men, be strong. Let all that you do be done in love. Amen. And then our children will grow up and do the same for their kids. Right. As it was taught to them by our parents. As it was taught to us by our parents. We're laying down the foundation of having God in their lives. Knowing that Jesus is what, knowing, knowing who Jesus is and what he did for us at the cross. Proverbs 1, 8 through 9. My child, listen when your father corrects you. Do not neglect your parents' instruction. What you learn from them will crown you with grace and be a chain of armor around your neck. All right, all right. And also, Matthews 19, 17 through 19. If you want to enter life, keep the commandments, honor your father and your mother, mm -hmm. and love your neighbor as yourself. Yes. Now I know most fathers are not church goers, but they do know the Lord. And this was taught to them by their parents. But nevertheless, fathers just want the best education for his children, 
and the best life that he can provide for his children. And fathers are great men of faith, although they may not show it, but it's there. It's there. Because being a father is one of the greatest blessings in the world, and there will be times when things get rough, and that the spirit side of being a faithful and telling your children about the man named Jesus, yeah. who for us died for us on Calvary so that we may have life and have it abundantly. Right. Trust, knowing that we have a God who comes in love and who loved us unconditionally, no matter what problems, he always is there. He's always there to see us through. And there are pretty good father stories in the Bible, mm -hmm. such as Adam, the first man, mm -hmm. Noah, a righteous man, okay. and my favorite, Isaac. All the good Bible stories, all the good father stories that you can read when you have a chance to. And so, as in closing, sorry to be so short, I think so but. Yeah, it's, it's hard. Y'all know it's been pounding and pounding and pounding and pounding. But right. well, give God the glory. Because this is what I ask for. So sometimes, you know, like they say, right? I'm paying for what you ask for. Absolutely. So, as I go in trouble. So on this day, show your father how much you really appreciate him, love him, honor him. Because fathers are son ones we look up to, just like our God who gave his only begotten son, that we may have life and have it abundantly. Amen. Deuteronomy 5, 16. Honor your father and your mother as the Lord our God commanded you, and you will live a long, full life in the land that the Lord God has given you. Amen. 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 testimony period. Amen. Amen. Is that all right? Yeah. We're going to give God some praise. We want to give God some praise and some honor because somebody out there want to give, some, give God some praise for their father. And even if it's not their biological father, there may be a man in your life, amen, who have touched you, who have poured into you, who, who've been a vessel to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. If there, if, if there is someone Amen. Does somebody have a testimony about something? We want to just open it up to a testimony kind of worship today. I see somebody in the back. Glory to God. Amen. Go we're gonna get, we're gonna be a, this is gonna be a testimony. Go ahead, period. Amen. Yeah. Feeding off. See, see, because about. Brother Troy message was called the message. Right. And we will right. send a message today. Amen. Right. We're gonna send a message for the devil, amen. Who tried to come in and try to disturb and we're gonna send a message today by the word, by the testimony of somebody talk to us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Good morning, y'all. Good, Good morning. Y'all know I don't get up here often, and I'm laughing so hard because when Mr. Troy finished up in my heart, I was like, dang, I just wish I could get up there and talk about the appreciation of the good men that's in this church, the good men that's in my life. Right. And for him to mention that, I said, all right, Lord, I'm going to get up. I'm going to yes. get up. I just want to say I'm I'm grateful for the men in my life, but I'm really grateful for the men in this church that have watched me grow and have always just been good men. You know, like good role good models. role models, good you know people to look up to, see like okay, you know, and I, everybody is not perfect, but this 
the men in this church have been good examples. They have done great things for this community. And I just really, you know, pray that y'all enjoy your day today. Aww. And I'm really grateful to have a church home that has good men that, you know, hold morals and values and do what they're supposed to do as men, great fathers, great mentors, great everything. So I really hope that y'all, you know, that y'all enjoy your day today. And as far as the gifts that y'all do not like, please be a little more broad. <laughs> 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 that way y'all don't have to get the same day t-shirt and stuff like that. Like, I mean, but the gifts that we have is that we have a
who the Lord has truly blessed you and put a man and put a father image in your life. Glory to God. Yes, God. Amen. Thank you. First, I want to say happy Father's Day to all the wonderful fathers here. And I just want to thank God, even though my father is here in these past maybe about 20 years now. I grew up in foster care. But my dad was my daddy. My God. He never missed a beat. He never missed a beat. He was there for our birthdays. He was there for the holidays. And he was there for us every weekend. Every weekend. He didn't want to put us in that place. But the state back then, the laws were different, and he couldn't get us out of it. But he was always there, and he was the best dad anybody could ever have. And I just want to wish him a heavenly, heavenly, happy, happy Father's Day. Thank you, Amen. 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 He's a good girl. He's yeah. family, and I know him. Amen. Glory to God. To God be the glory. Thank God. The day that I know, he's done everything and been everything. Only thing he could be for his father now. But he's done everything anybody else there could do. I'd like to tell everybody else that to call Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I would like to say Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. And I also would like to say Happy Father's Day to my papa. My mom passed away, and he has still been there for me, my sister, my nieces, my nephews, my children, my grandchildren. So I'm just grateful. I'll be 52 in about three weeks, and I've never ever met my father. But Levette Halsley the third, I thank you for him, and I just wish that he can get over his prostate cancer and that he can get a kidney. But I'll be there for all his appointments. Whatever he needs from me, I'm there. So I'm just grateful that even after my mother died, he did not give up on me or my family. Amen. Amen. You know, the Lord, the Lord is good. He is an awesome, awesome God. And he's, he's doing some powerful things in our lives. Amen. He, he's, he has been Amen. there even in the midst of what we may have gone through in our lives. Because each one of us have certain different situations. So there, there may, oh, there's somebody in the back, amen, who wants to, to give a testimony. Amen. Glory to God. The title of the message was The Message Today, Amen. And this is a message. Glory to God. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, I, I had to say something about my father because God blessed me with an adopted father and a biological father, but my biological father, we really not that <laughs> So, um, but I want to say happy Father's Day, happy Heavenly Father's Day to my father. Um, he passed at the beginning of this year, in the January, we lost him. So, it's really hard for me to, you know, go through this day without my father. This is, this is one of his times. He had lots of them, so this is one of them. Um, I wanted to wear it today because that's my dad and his father saying I love him, and I miss him so much. Um, I also miss my mother, so I want to say happy belated Mother's Day to my mother. Happy um, Mother's Day and a happy Heavenly Father's Day to my father. And as well to the fathers of the church, the men of the church that stepped in to the role. I feel as a stepped in the role as my father, even though he's not here. I look at to the men of the church and my father as well, in particular Troy. Mr. Bernard, um, I really appreciate them and the men of the choir to help me go through this because they encourage me to keep going yeah. as they do. So I just want to say happy Father's Day and happy Father's Day to Pastor and everybody else. And thank you so much. Amen. We have so many testimonies for over to God. Yeah, I just want to say, you know, I, I have a great father in my life, um, but 
I'll talk to him later today. <laughs> but I do want to thank you because you know you played a big role in, in her life and obviously Miss Linda too. And I I've seen firsthand what the alternative could have been, you know. So I really appreciate you guys stepping up and being her parents. Um, and I've seen, you know, women and and men too with daddy issues and it really affects them yes. big time. Yes. You know? yes. And she does not have any of that. So that's yes. beautiful. Amen. I used to be like to my dad. Stir. 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 Stir.
All right. And Sharon, if you know what, you can play. And Bernard, if you know what, you can play too if you want to. But if y'all don't, that's all right too. All right. And it's like this. How can I say thanks for the things you've done for me? Things so undeserved. Yes, you prove to give your love for me. The voices of a million angels could not express my gratitude. All that I am and ever hope to be, Lord. I owe it all to thee. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be.
this, but my heart is strong there. Um, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. I just want to say, thank God, because if it had not been for God on my side, I don't know where would I be this oh, morning. Right, no. And I just want to acknowledge that anybody don't believe that there is a God, what I'm about to say, I hope it do something to you. Because I'm telling you, it's not easy. And you can't do this on your own strength. Um, I haven't seen, it's been almost August. In August, it's going to be 19 years. I haven't seen my mom. And she's everything to me. I know it's Father's Day, but I gotta put her in it first. I haven't seen her, and she passed away in 2019, June 10th. She passed away, and she is a mother, a father, everything I could say. She is. Every day she will call me, wake up, you gotta go to the people and work. He always leaves. When I don't please five more minutes, she will call me. And she's everything to me. Me and my dad don't have a close relationship, but I thank God for him. We don't have a close relationship because my mom is always there for me. All the time, she's always there for me. And my dad, I haven't seen him too. It's going to be the same 19 years I haven't seen him. But I thank God for him. Now we haven't, since my mom passed, he don't know, but I see it already always to reveal it to me. For me and him to have a relationship, because we didn't have that. I used to see him when I was younger, but we didn't have a relationship like that. But now it's, it's better. It's still a working process, because I know he's still not going to take the place that my mom had. And he always used to say it, but she was everything to me. Um, I just want to say, thank God for his grace, his love, and his mercy. Because for me not to see them in so many years, I know it's because of the grace of God why I'm still standing. Because nothing like a mother's prayer and nothing like a father's prayer when they stand in the gap for their children. And there are good fathers out there. I know a lot of fathers not playing their role. But thank God for the mother that's still stepping and thank God for the father that is playing a role, both mother and father. I thank God for them. As today is Father's Day, I just want to acknowledge that even though you're not a father, you still play a father role in someone's life. You, they probably don't say it to you, but they are looking at you because of what you are doing. And to my husband, happy Father's Day. I thank God for you. No, I don't say it much, but so thank God that I move in silence. As a pastor, I thank God for you the day that I met you in that furniture store, who would have thought I would be here in the ministry? I met Pastor Pastor in a furniture store. I never forget. And I start talking to him and he said, the church is, he gave me his information for the church. I didn't want him to come, but I stepped out and I did it. And I thank God. He was for me. To all the fathers, happy Father's Day. God bless you all. I'm going to say a quick prayer for you, fathers. Uh, mothers, I know you all have a special moment. It's not about us today. It's not about the fathers. I know they complain. Like Troy said, we only give them all the time and this and that. Not too much on the shelf for you, but know that even though we don't say we appreciate you, we probably don't say it outwardly, but we appreciate you. Amen. 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 All right. Amen. 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 As we come to you this afternoon, oh God, we just want to thank you, my God, you, for your grace, your love, your mercy, and your faithfulness, oh God. Yes. That if it had not been for you, where would we be today, oh God? We are nothing without you, oh God. So today, my God, as today is Father's Day, my God, we just want to thank you, oh God, because you are our Father, my God, who never fail us, oh God. You are our daddy, oh God. We acknowledge you this morning, my God. If it had not been for your grace, your love, your mercy, and your faithfulness, where would we be right now, my God? We are nothing without you, oh God. Oh God, we thank you for your grace, your love, your mercy, and your faithfulness, oh God. Thank you for your finished work on the cross, oh God. My God, I thank you for being a father to the fatherless, oh God. We bless you, we worship you, we adore you, oh God. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy, oh God. We lift up all fathers to you, oh God. My God, 
glory to God for the great and wonderful and marvelous things he has done. We give him praise. We give him glory. And as the Spirit is leading and guiding us even right now, today when we go down from this place, somebody might ask you, about your service today in church. And this is what I want you to tell me. Say, yes, we had a service today and I gave a message. Mm -hmm. You gave a message, you gave a message, you gave a message. Whoever spoke today gave a message. And even if you did not share anything today, you gave a message as well. You gave a message to our God and our Savior. And as we get ready to go down from this place, I will be remiss if there may be someone today. Why don't you come to your feet all over the place, all over the room. There may be someone today that want a closer walk with Jesus Christ. And we're going to open up the doors to the church. There may be someone today who's prepared on this Father's Day to give your life to Christ and you have not accepted Him as your Lord and Savior. If that's you today, excuse yourself and come to this altar. If you're prepared to say yes, Lord, to your will, yes, Lord, to your way, I want to do the work. I want to be a part of this kingdom. Come to this altar today. We want to thank Brother Troy, I mean, not Brother Troy, the gardener. The gardener. For planting a seed today. Amen. Glory to God. Let's give God some praise. Amen. He planted a seed, and the seed was the message. Tell somebody today, I gave the message today at Cherry Hill. I gave the message. Glory to God. Let us prepare our hearts to go down from this place, but never from the presence of our God. With every head bowed, every eye closed, every heart praying in this place. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for all that our hearts have felt, our minds have conceived, God. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your loving kindness. Lord, we thank you for touching our heart today that they were able to share. Lord, I know we did not follow the bulletin today, but sometime every now and again, we have to let the Spirit have its way. So God, we gave it to you because you deserve all the praise, the honor, and the glory. Send us out of this place today with a filled up heart a mind that has conceived you and received you. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly beyond all that we may ask to think according to the powers that work and move in us. To God be the glory. To the church and to all generations forever and ever. Let the people of God say amen, 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 and amen. amen. Go and have a blessed day in the Lord. Happy Father's Day. God be the glory.